I recall getting up today around 9.30 in the morning, and uh, pretty much within half an hour of uh, me getting up, and Mom and I started driving to uh, Whitesville in order to see Grandma. And we arrived there. At around noon. I brought my marker satchel and a blank styrofoam block, the same shape I used to make that African man with the beach landscape polo shirt. I finished it at the Emerging Artist Expo the first day. And I think I started it during one of those karaoke nights. Mom took me to either at the knob or the will in. I'm not quite sure at this time. But if I had to guess, I would say the will in because they hold karaoke nights more often. Like once a week instead of every fortnight. Something like that. And I pretty much spent the car ride at two Grandma's Place and my time at Grandma's Place brainstorming an idea for what I would do with that blank styrofoam block. And now I've come up with an idea of doing a female Mucha Libre wrestler. I got part of the idea because at one point... I think uh, while I was in Whitesville and Mom was briefly visiting their post office, and when she left the car, a ladybug got into her car. And I saw it fly around as I sat in the front passenger seat. But it left when mom got back from the post office about a minute later. And I think at that time we were going to uh, pick up The food we ordered in that grandma kindly paid for. And she also gave me $40 for when I brought the Uncle Sam styrofoam drawing for one of her sisters 
one of my aunts. I initially said it was 35 because that's the price I charged at the Cornhill Arts Festival. <sighs> Speaking of which, uh, I think uh, right before we left... For the trip to visit Grandma, uh, Mom found the check that I got from the Cornhill Arts Association, who runs the festival and the Emerging Artist Expo. After looking around this area for some minutes it was a check for a hundred and twenty six dollars because the Cornhill Arts Association takes a ten percent cut and I made four sales for thirty five dollars each so a hundred and forty But I couldn't really draw anything on the way to Grandma's place because, you know, for one thing, if you're in a car, you're technically moving 30, 70 miles per hour. And uh, roads, especially here at the United States at times, aren't completely smooth. They have potholes, and there were points in which we encountered road work a couple times to the point where we were stopped for some minutes. And so, now you can't really do precise work precise drawing when it comes to this sort of thing, uh, that, and I just didn't have any idea for what to do with that block at the time. And because it was just coming off of work on the IHS, Styrofoam drawing for the Whitesville Historical Society. Which I plan on finishing before I start La Marquita Styrofoam drawing, which is the ladybug in Spanish. I took screenshots today of a Google 3D model of a ladybug. It greatly zoomed in. I did research on 
how much Skillshare costs during the car ride. I looked into similar E-Class services and I think Skillshare is best for me. They seem to have the best selection of what I'm looking for. For some reason when looking at the Masterclass website, Yeah, I didn't get the right vibe because I think all of their classes are taught by the celebrities and an article about that site said it was more about edutainment or whatever that means. On the car ride to Grandma's Place. I searched on Skillshare, browser catalog of classes, to see what I would like to take first. I found a basic skills drawing class, even though I don't consider myself to be a beginner at this point, but I think I can still benefit from it. I wrote down the title of the class and the instructor, uh, both using a pen I found in mom's purse after initially kind of disassembling a pen to try to make of another pen to try to make the tip stick out. Only to realize that it didn't really work. No ink came out. And I wrote the name of the class on the back of a business card that had been folded into quarters based off the creases I saw in it. It seems pretty promising. I'm currently uh, going to uh, complete this quest, this side quest for the Halflings chapter. Hoping to break into this chapter before the next episodic event starts. And when we got to uh, Grandma's place, and Mama traded, got this uh, gray bin, and uh, swapped clothes uh, between her and Grandma, her and her mom. We had lunch around 1 p.m.,
after contacting Grandma's phone company. They sent a technician over later after we went to, it turns out we didn't order from the Whitesville House restaurant, but actually more like the Whitesville Corner Market. I was initially going to get a cheeseburger sub, but then swapped that out for, initially it was going to be a dozen chicken wings. But they ended up being boneless wings because that's all they had. And I picked out the garlic parm sauce because I think that's the only sauce they had on offer that was keto friendly. I got a chicken tender salad for which... I felt they could have given me more chicken tenders, but it was still good, along with a side order of of garlic, I mean, not garlic, sorry, broccoli cheddar bites. I had the salad and the bites right away, and I'm having the boneless chicken wings now with the garlic parm sauce. When we uh, came to pick up our food, of which Grandma also had us pick up a cookie tray. That she had the place make along with an order of two peanut butter brownies. Of which I had none, because I honestly don't need sweets. Oh, there's good tasting food right here. Oh, that's relatively healthy compared to sweets. I like to uh, think that even the most fried stuff is healthier than something that's all sugary, especially to the point of it being like pure sugar. <sighs> after that point, after we had our lunch, It was the point in which I mostly sat at the living room table. And brainstormed what I wanted to do for that styrofoam block. And while mom and grandma uh, looked at 
old photos. And then work to resolve a small gas leak in the basement. Of which I went there, went down there briefly because it was curious. According to one of the contractors, Grandma has over doing work on the porch or deck, the outdoor area of the house. Uh, what we smelled in the basement was mildew. Hey, which for some reason didn't ring alarm bells to me because I think I've heard of that stuff being in nature. But the gas leak was fixed. And I fell asleep on the car ride back home after uh, pushing my chair back and reclining it. I felt tired for pretty much the entire time I was at Grandma's place after having lunch from 2 to 6 p.m. I was pretty much uh, just on my phone. Uh, looking at stuff. Trying to think of what I wanted to do for that star foam block. And then how I wanted to draw her hair, the Mucha Libre wrestler. Uh, most likely, it's probably going to be brown. Because the mask is going to be white around the eyes, and the rest will pretty much be black, because that's what a ladybug's face is, black and white. When we went to pick up our food at the Whitesville Corner Market, at that convenience store, we also bought some milk. In this case, a one gallon of 2% milk. Since 2% is what mom and grandma prefers, though I prefer whole Yeah, but 2% is probably still fine. I think uh, we mostly got that because I brought up, when asked what beverages we wanted, I brought up milk. And since that is honestly what I wanted at the time. And maybe at that point, Grandma had maybe three quarters to half of a quart of 2% milk. And so not that much. I'm just uh, trying to think of why we also got milk when we went to pick up our food at the Whitesville Corner Market. Those seem to be the most likely reasons why.